Hello everyone, welcome to RoutMyBrain.com. So today I'll be showing you the different modes that are present in a Cisco router. So as I'm connected to a Cisco router, this is the first screen that you will see. Now pressing the return key, that is the enter key, you will get into the user exec mode. This is a normal mode. This sign here, this angular bracket shows you that you are in the user exec mode. So what are the commands available in this mode? Just type show followed by a question mark. This will lead you to a very big list of all the commands that you can run inside it. And you, and you can see that it, a lot of commands are available. Now, next mode is the privileged exec mode. You can enter this mode by typing enable. Now, this the screen changes like to this pound sign, which means you are in the privileged exec mode. Now let's see what are the commands that we can show. It also has a list of commands that we can execute. But we can see that that there is no user password enabled on this system as it's a new router. So we will configure the username and passwords later in our videos as it is a very standard and necessary requirement. So let's get out of it. Yeah. Now let's log in to the global configuration mode. Just type config T and you get the global configuration mode. Now you can see the console has changed to config. Now you're in the global configuration mode and you can make any changes to the router. Now all the changes that you make in this mode are global to the system. That's why it's called the global configuration mode. To get out of it, type exit. You are back in the pr privileged mode. So, to get a type, type again, exit. Now, you're back to the default login screen. Just follow these steps and you'll be able to navigate through different consoles of the Cisco router. Watch more videos on routemybrain.com. I'll be keeping you updating. Happy routing.